For the past six months, we've been hard at work researching the mysteries of motion. Motion, we've learned, is more complicated than we thought, with very few cut and dry answers about what makes for good motion handling on a TV. While we do test aspects like stutter, judder, and response times, it still isn't clear why motion in low frame rate content can look so different from one TV to the next. So, we haven't solved the motion problem just yet, but we do have a plan to address it. If there's one thing we're good at doing here at Ratings, it's collecting data. Lots and lots and lots of data. We're able to collect all sorts of stuff about motion on TVs with stuff like our fancy high-speed camera here. You can record over a thousand frames. We can see anything we want on a TV. The hard part isn't so much measuring it, it's correlating that measurement with the human experience of actually watching something in motion. A ton of different human factors can affect how we actually perceive motion. The brightness in the room, your distance from the screen, how big the screen is, all sorts of stuff changes how we actually perceive the motion. So we've broken it down into what we're calling the four pillars of motion. These are the four aspects which we found the biggest differences between TVs that we're able to measure and see. The first pillar is cadence, which includes things like stutter, judder, and micro judders. Then we have flicker, blur, and finally, artifacts. We will be coming out with individual videos on each of the four pillars, breaking down how we're going to test them and what goes into each test. But if you are curious and want to learn more now, we do have an article on our website. The biggest takeaway from our research so far is that no one TV or one TV brand is universally good at anything. If you look at these charts, we do have the four pillars lined up for different TVs. Some of them excel in one area, but are not so good in another. It tends to be a bit of a trade-off between them. So we're trying to find a way to fairly weigh each of these four pillars as we move forward with this process. So our game plan moving forward is a little complicated. We first thought that we'd be able to do this all in one big test bench and put all of our motion research all at once. The problem is that's a lot of work and also we're not sure how to weigh each thing against itself. So we are looking for feedback from the community. So what we've chosen to do is to break it down into three separate test benches. The first one covering cadence and the other two covering the remaining three pillars. Those will be published later, but the cadence test bench should be coming out pretty soon. Not only are we doing three separate test benches, but we're also limiting the scope to doing it on just these 10 TVs. There's very little consensus within the scientific community on how to properly evaluate motion, so we are in sort of uncharted territory here. We're developing these scores and tests in-house, and we do want as much input as possible. More specifically, we're looking for feedback on the four pillars that we've chosen. We find these to be the most noticeable, but we want to hear from you. Which pillars do you find more important than the others? What personally bothers you about motion? Do you have any particular scenes from a particular film that you find especially annoying to watch on your TV? Are you one of those people that prefers an old school CRT TV because of how crisp the motion is? Whatever you got about motion, leave it in the comments down below. Stay tuned for our upcoming series on breaking down those four pillars where we'll come out with individual videos for each. And don't forget to let us know what you think about motion down in the comments. Until next time, I've been Sam from Ratings.com where we help you find the best product for your needs.